Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about but now Trump is distancing himself from the firing of Jeffrey Berman after Attorney General Barr said the president was behind the decision. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. The Justice Department announced the resignation of U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of NY Jeffrey Berman. But he says he has no plans of resigning. Video Elephant President Donald Trump dismissed Manhattan's chief federal prosecutor Jeffrey Berman on Saturday after the prosecutor who had launched a series of criminal inquiries targeting the president's allies refused to resign, Attorney General William Barr said in a letter to Berman. Because you have declared that you have no intention of resigning, I have asked the president to remove you as of today, and he has done so, Barr wrote. Barr said Deputy U. Attorney Audrey Strauss would serve as the acting chief of the office until a permanent successor could be seated. Almost as soon as the letter was made public, however, Trump appeared to distance himself from the attorney general's statement, saying that the decision to remove Berman was Barr's to make. I'm not involved, Trump told reporters before departing for a campaign rally in Oklahoma. Jeffrey Berman, U. Attorney in Manhattan, in April 2019 during a news conference, Photo, Mary Altaffer, AP, the action comes after an extraordinary confrontation late Friday night in which Barr first announced that Berman would be stepping down, only to have the prosecutor fire back that he had no intention of resigning his post. The clash thrust the Justice Department into fresh turmoil, raising new questions about its independence from a White House that has sought to remove members of the administration it has cast as disloyal. Barr and Berman discussed his tenure earlier Friday while the Attorney General was in New York meeting with New York Police Department officials, a person with knowledge of the matter said Saturday. At that time, Berman was offered other positions in the administration, including Chief of the Justice Department's Civil Division in Washington. The source who is not authorized to comment publicly said Berman believed that the conversation was only the start of a longer conversation about possible personnel changes. Unfortunately, with your statement of last night, you have chosen public spectacle over public service, Barr said in the letter, referring to the prosecutor's refusal to capitulate. Your statement also wrongly implies that your continued tenure in the office is necessary to ensure that cases now pending in the Southern District of New York are handled appropriately, Barr wrote. This is obviously false. I fully expect that the office will continue to handle all cases in the normal course and pursuant to the department's applicable standards, policies, and guidance.